Hello and welcome back, all four of you. My name is Pilot Merchant and did you know that I write music? Well, considering how there's only about seven of you that are actually going to watch this video, the answer is likely yes. But with writing comes practice and with practice comes a song about hating shoes. Anyways though, I'm back at it again, writing random songs on my instruments cause why not? I'm bored. <laughs> so this first site we're going to is called songlyricsgenerator.org.uk, which this website seems to primarily focus on writing the lyrics for you rather than just giving you a theme and letting you do your thing. Anyways though, looking at the actual website, it looks like we have a different list of genres or whatever. Freestyle, line by line, rap, metal, love song, rhyming song, yada yada. And here at the bottom, it looks like you can do different artists. So probably in the styles of them. Ooh, Beatles one. Most most of my songs tend to be like a little bit more of a lovey-dovey kind of song. So we'll do a love song first. Okay, the name of the person for whom this song is written. Mrs. Mr. Miss Do Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> We're going with Dr. Dr. Johnson. Four adjectives that could be used to describe that person. Beautiful, insecure, smelly. Smelly sounds good. Uh, let's use smelly. Doctor. Uh, that That's a type of adjective. T describe them as pink. I don't... The pink. Big. Uh, because I can't think of any more adjectives. Alright, two vegetables that you like, singular. Potato and cat, I mean, those are pretty, those are pretty good. Uh, potato, you know, I, I've been in a debate about this before. I, I am in the opinion that a potato is a vegetable, though a lot of people say that it's not, and that's kind of strange. Your favorite bird, uh, birds. I said bird while looking at the word animal. Do I associate the word animal with bird? <laughs> a type of food, spaghetti, pizza, curry. Let's go with gyro, gyro. I spelled it wrong. <laughs> a condiment you enjoy with that vinegar, straight vinegar. Something red, blood, something blue. Lack of blood. Our smelly potato. <laughs> this one's for you, doctor. <laughs> Let's go with something like... Okay, let's go with that. Oh my god, my love for you is like the most smelly potato. like the most smelly potato your face reminds me of a doctor bird together we are like some of vinegar i forgot my chords <laughs> blood or red lack of blood or Pink toes, your big doctor being. How could I look at another with a smelly potato? Love is so strong. Let me get back. <laughs>
So if you're the kind of person who just kind of wants to uh, write a basic song, you've not the kind of person who likes to write music, and you kind of just, I don't know, but let's say that you actually don't know how to write music, you're not really interested in writing music as is, uh, then it's completely fine <laughs> if you're just trying to write a song for someone, if you do something like that. It seems like it's more that kind of website, but um, not really for me. So uh, let's move on to our next one. This site is called lyricideas.com. And as the name suggests, this website specializes in just giving you phrases to use as lyrics rather than giving you themes or writing the song for you. So I'm specifically going to be looking at their phrase ideas for verses and everything like that. But honestly, after looking through a few of them, I'm not really feeling anything. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just going to take uh, some little bits from their verses and then try to combine them together to create a chorus that'll be catchy. Change of plans. None of these seem to be very good. <laughs> so I'm just gonna end up taking one line and use that to write a song. I'm taking this into a different direction. I thought it would work the other way, but it's really just not. I'm going I'm going to be taking specifically the line, I planted love and watched it grow. And we're gonna create something with that idea.
I was going to go to Heuristics Inc. again in this video because that's usually where I go, um, but it looks like their website's down right now, <laughs> so that's awkward. So my goal was to have four songs for this video, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and skip to the next part. Of this video that I scheduled and that part is just us going through my notes app and looking at some of my phrase ideas and trying to create a song with that but after that I'll play you guys a song uh, that I'm currently working on yeah you can just have the unpolished version of it I guess so immediately you can tell that some of these ideas are uh, <laughs> a little bit more interesting than others so I'm just going to use the one that says I'm so rich I bleed pennies <laughs> because that one seems fun. So I guess we'll go with that one. I don't really know what kind of song I'm gonna do with this one, but uh, I guess we'll figure it out. I'm just gonna open up with the line so I can think from there. I'm so rich, I bleed pennies from my arm when it goes and falls apart. But am I loved by the people on their art and their minds who think of me as a friend? Do we need time to fall asleep? Do we need time? Sorry for my shitty whistling, but I, I can't help but think that. All I know is on the back of the light of the darkness will wait in my mind. No matter how much I make and no matter what we do. It seems that I'll take care of you It seems like you've been here Just as long as I have to So I know You bleed pennies too I don't really know what I was going with there, but um, the chords are pretty. <laughs> Even though I'm starting to actually plan things ahead of time, it still feels a little bit messy for me. Probably because this is still all new to me. Along with getting more consistent also comes with me getting more skilled over time. So I appreciate you four for bearing with me in the meantime. For the last song of today, I am actually going to just be singing a song that doesn't actually have a name yet uh, and I also do not know all the lyrics so it's gonna be a bit of a struggle uh yeah I guess you guys can consider yourself my beta testers the working title of the song is pixelated eyes but um yeah uh, I guess we'll see how it goes yeah Last night in my lucid dream, I lay down so sleepily on a hillside 
while watching the skyline It seemed like almost suddenly Someone started holding me Squeezing me tightly His love felt frightening He said, you know you're unique Don't you dare once believe That their words may ring true Yeah, you were born to do what you want to do In a year or maybe two You will finally have proof That this life was made for you Cause colors burst in the night when your heart does align with the song you may find that you can see the melody in your heart and your mind let the gemstones ignite yeah can you see mine through your pixelated is all right close your eyes mr red eye taking off to neverland though these fairy tales seem nice i think i may take dad's advice put this music on a show though that's bad for mental health though you'll never make it there your brain begins to say colors
by the time the song actually gets released, probably in quite a few months, <laughs> the song's gonna be done a lot sooner, but it's not gonna be released for a good while. But whenever the song actually gets released, it's going to be kind of different. <laughs> I wouldn't say too different because I have all of the things that are actually going to be uh, integral to the foundation of the song already placed in there. But yeah, it's gonna be different. You'll notice the differences, I promise. So out of all these websites, I wouldn't really say one did a better job than the other. Really the best thing that you can do for writing music is just creating phrase ideas. And the reason that I say that is because whenever you are writing music, you are developing it in your own style right? This is something that you're creating from your mind. Though it is very healthy for you to go off and go and sing random things, to go and write with random themes and things like that, it's not going to help all the time. And so it's a good practice for you to write down your own phrases, your own ideas, your own lyrical patterns and things like that. Create a melody and find your style. And it takes a lot of time to get to this point that I'm at where I actually have a style where I can actually confidently know like where I want my chords are and where I want my melody and where I want my voice and it takes a long time to actually get to this point of progression but you will be able to get there and so to help you get there whenever you are actually coming up with these phrase ideas whenever you're actually coming up with these lyrics if you find one you write something you're like I really like that but it doesn't fit in the song do not get rid of it it does not have to be in that song to be useful to you it is something that can come back later if you notice in the song I just played for you Pixelated eyes is the entire point and if you notice in my notes app that pixelated eyes is also put into the phrase ideas Coming up with these songs come from different ideas along the way You may not be able to write the song that you want to now, but maybe tomorrow Maybe in an hour maybe in a few minutes and you don't even know about it And that's the thing about writing and about doing music and things like that is whenever you get to the point where you've developed enough confidence for you to write in your own style with your own ethic and your own abilities whenever you develop this integral piece of what is your music, what is your art, you will then be able to create relentlessly. But that's going to be it for me today, guys. Oh. If you enjoyed the video, then feel free to let me know what you enjoyed about it down in the description. And if you enjoyed my voice and my music, if you enjoyed that last song here that I played, uh, go down the description, go to my SoundCloud or my Spotify, whichever one that you want to, and just go ahead and listen to some of my music, preferably from the un- Re what is it called the fuck <laughs> unmixed and unreleased until now because that's a lot more of my modern day music and what i'm writing now but if you enjoy the other stuff feel free to listen to that i just i don't enjoy it <laughs> so but yeah that's going to be it for me today guys thank you so so much for watching and i hope you have a lovely day how many of these songs actually get stuck in your head by the way because they're not they're not good but i know that i good at making things catchy.